The red planet has played an essential role in mythologies and astrology and has been deeply ingrained in cultures for centuries. It wasn't until we got a telescope in hand that we saw Mars for its potential. Well, Elon Musk did. His company, SpaceX, has been developing a program to allow colonizing our neighboring planet, and it includes the usage of fully reusable launch vehicles, on-orbit propellant tanks, rapid turnaround launch and landing mounts, and production of rocket fuel on Mars. So there are some big plans in motion to take the human civilization to Mars. Elon Musk, along with his team, is running around executing some of the most extraordinary feats mankind has ever seen. But what's the plan when we actually get there? Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upload from us. While Elon Musk is best known for his electric car giant Tesla, his space program is hotly discussed in the news too. Founded in 2002, the aim of Space Exploration Technologies Corp, or SpaceX, was to reduce the cost of space transportation to allow colonization of Mars. They manufacture the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles, rocket engines, and the Starlink satellites. In 2001, Musk conceptualized Mars Oasis, where a miniature experimental greenhouse would be sent to Mars to grow plants. In order to make it happen, he started to build the affordable rockets he needed. SpaceX developed its first orbital launch with Falcon 1, an expendable, small-lift launch vehicle. The total development cost came to $90 million, and it was funded privately. In 2005, SpaceX announced plans to pursue a human-rated commercial space program through the end of the decade, a program which would later become the Dragon spacecraft. Around this time, Elon Musk also made his plans for colonizing Mars known. According to him, we should get out of here before there's a World War III. In 2012, SpaceX launched the first commercial spacecraft to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. They also started their active reusability test program by testing low-altitude, low-speed aspects of the landing technology. And just a year later, they launched their first commercial mission for a private customer. In 2017, Elon Musk revealed the bigger plan for Mars to get one million people to the red planet for colonization. SpaceX would do with their interplanetary transport system, which can carry 100 people per flight. The rocket will also likely have movie theaters, lecture halls, and a restaurant. More luxuries than NASA's astronauts got when they were crammed into a capsule and heading to the moon. According to Elon Musk, it's going to be an enjoyable journey. By 2018, SpaceX had over 100 launches under their belt, representing 12 billion US dollars in contract revenue, both from government and commercial customers. And in the following year, they announced their Starship and Starlink projects. They launched 60 satellites to form a satellite constellation around the Earth. And in 2020, SpaceX successfully launched two NASA astronauts into orbit on a Crew Dragon spacecraft from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. They also announced plans to be a long-duration cargo and passenger spacecraft as the second stage of a reusable launch vehicle. Musk has made it clear that SpaceX does not plan to create settlements. It would be up to the settlers to build anything they want. SpaceX is merely providing the transport. He hopes it will grow into a self-sufficient colony, but getting there would require many more elements high net worth individuals, companies, and even governments. So when will we finally get there? An uncrewed Starship rocket is set to launch in 2024, but the date has always wavered. Musk's aspirational timeline was for SpaceX to send cargo ships to Mars in 2022, followed by a crewed mission a year later. Later, this was pushed to 2024. Fewer than 5% of SpaceX's employees are working on the interplanetary transport system right now, so we expect the date to be pushed further. Musk is known to give some pretty ambitious timelines, but if his projections are accurate, SpaceX's first Mars mission will line up with NASA astronauts returning from the moon under the Artemis program. 
The journey to Mars will take approximately 115 days and cost $500,000 per person. But in 2016, Elon Musk said he believed that the price could come down to $200,000 in the long term. So what happens when the first people actually reach the red planet? Habitats The first temporary habitats will be the starships themselves, and they will be well-equipped with life support systems. Only the starship cargo flights will return to Earth, probably to collect gear and materials belonging to the Boring Company. That's right, Elon Musk's other venture, the Boring Company, may be responsible for making tunnels under the surface of Mars to create underground habitats for the astronauts and early settlers. While conditions on both Earth and Mars are somewhat similar, the surface of Mars is not hospitable to humans or really most life forms because of the radiation, reduced air pressure, and 0.16% oxygen in the atmosphere. Human survival here would require artificial habitats with complex life support systems. Food Speaking of survival, the question arises, how will the first settlers eat? No system has been put in place for that yet. Well, the first astronauts there will take a minimum two-year supply of vacuum-sealed packets of food, just like the ones used on the International Space Station. They may not rely on Mars-grown food much, but there will experimentation with growing food to see if they can substitute their packaged food for fresh produce. Space Exploration Vehicle After accommodation and food are sorted, it's time to map the surface of Mars. If you want to do productive exploration anywhere in space, you'll need a suitable vehicle for which NASA developed the Space Exploration Vehicle. It's a pressurized vehicle that can room four astronauts for up to 72 hours. It features a cabin mounted on a chassis with wheels that can pivot 360 degrees and go six miles an hour in any direction. It's about the size of a pickup truck with 12 wheels, and it even contains sleeping and sanitary facilities. It was designed to need zero or very little maintenance. With several of these on the surface of Mars, astronauts will be able to travel more than 125 miles in any direction. Terraforming If we plan to make Mars our home, it will take large-scale ecological engineering, otherwise known as terraforming. We already know Mars had a denser atmosphere and was once warm enough to maintain oceans, so terraforming it would essentially mean restoring it to its past self. To do this, early visitors will have to warm up the planet, thicken the atmosphere, and make the atmosphere breathable. This can be achieved by triggering a greenhouse effect with ammonia ices from the outer solar system being impacted on the surface. In addition to being a powerful greenhouse gas, ammonia is mostly nitrogen by weight, so it could provide the necessary buffer gas which, when combined with oxygen, would create a breathable atmosphere for humans. SpaceX also plans to build a solar-powered factory on Mars that will use the carbon dioxide and water ice in the planet's air and soil to generate methane and oxygen. And another of Musk's ventures will be used on Mars to provide a communication link for settlers there. His Starlink constellations will eventually move from Earth to Mars for that purpose. Currently, SpaceX is hoping to start its cargo missions using its Starship program by 2022, followed by the first crewed flight in 2024. We might expect a permanent Mars base in 2028, according to Elon Musk. They are even planning a tourist mission around to Moon in 2023. But why stop there? Elon Musk's presentation in 2016 also outlined his plans for missions to Encladius, a Saturnian moon, Europa, and a fuel depot on Pluto, among other things. The aim is to open up the solar system to the human race. Saturn and Pluto are still a long way away, but it's exciting to think of the possibilities. Understandably, the Mars project requires a financial commitment too extreme for any government. The U.S. government certainly doesn't have the budget for colonizing Mars, so the planet is essentially open for big businesses to invest in. But building settlements and establishing businesses aside, it is remarkable what SpaceX has done so far. As we get closer to becoming an interplanetary species, we better appreciate the sheer ingenuity of the human mind. 
Think you'll take the next step and be one of the first settlers on Mars? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and check out more over on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.